What is up, crypto fam? Ari here, and in this video, we're gonna be having a look at Mt. Gox sell-off. Is a massive sell-off imminent? Now we know that Bitcoin right now is currently down three percent. Altcoins are absolutely crashing, and in this video, we're gonna be covering some news, some analysis, technical analysis on Bitcoin to see where it could potentially go. So if you guys do like these videos, of course, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, leave a like, turn those notification bells on so you guys never miss a video so quick article right here by coindesk back in 2014 mt gox recovered 200,000 bitcoin worth 118 million dollars guys remember that was in 2014 fast forward 10 years later in 2024 those 200,000 bitcoins are worth well over 10 billion dollars okay now for those of you guys who don't know what happened the exchange mt gox was hacked in 2004 when the bitcoin or the price of bitcoin was sitting at approximately 400 dollars and of course all these bitcoins were pretty much lost mt gox had to pretty much liquidate everything shut down the company and pretty much close the exchange and like i said fast forward to 10 years they're gonna start repaying back all these customers that pretty much lost over 190,000 Bitcoin worth over $10 billion. So, so you can expect a massive and a huge sell pressure in the crypto markets very, very, very soon. Now, obviously, it's it started or supposedly it started today, which is why Bitcoin is down 3%. Now, I don't know if people started to sell already or this is just fear and a lot of people shorting. So we're going to have to see what happens. Let's dive into some charts on the weekly, daily, and perhaps four hour to see where Bitcoin can go. So a couple charts we're gonna be having a look at is one Bitcoin on the daily time frame right here, guys, currently sitting at a very, very important support level. And we're also gonna be having a look at Bitcoin right now, currently breaking below this very important trend line. We know the trend is your friend until it bends. And we know Bitcoin has been in this trend actually since October 2023 so almost a year and if we have a look right here on the weekly time frame we could actually see that bitcoin is making some moves so we are sitting and we are still bullish overall i mean look at this guys bitcoin since the beginning of 2023 bitcoin is well up i mean we bottomed all the way at fifteen thousand dollars and since then we are up 300 percent so overall bitcoin is looking good and we also had an overbought area now we know historically every time bitcoin is overbought you know we're gonna see some moves to the downside and this is exactly what is happening now can this just be a double bottom okay because if it's a double bottom that's very very bullish the neckline would essentially be right here sitting at seventy three thousand dollars and of course the double bottom would be this would be the first one and then this would be the second one now if this is just a double bottom we could see a massive breakout followed by a pullback before continuing to hundred and twenty thousand dollars that's scenario number one scenario number two if Bitcoin really breaks below this level right here, then we could see a downside. And I'm talking about, you know, anywhere between $56,000 to $44,000. That would bring alts to almost zero. Alts, altcoins have been absolutely bleeding, guys. Bleeding, yes. Altcoins have been bleeding. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Now, what is the good news? The good news right here is that we could see that the stock RSI, guys, is looking pretty bullish. Yes, I know it's looking bearish, but it's looking bullish because historically tells us that every time we are oversold on a stochastic RSI, especially on the weekly time frame, we usually essentially make a massive reversal. Okay, so the same time we saw Bitcoin being overbought right here and we saw a nice little reversal is the same thing. We're going to see a nice little oversold region. So you can't really go lower than that, which is pretty good. I mean, look what happened here, guys. This was the ultimate bottom for Bitcoin back in November. Boom, what happened? exploded we saw another one right here back in august oversold what happened boom exploded went up essentially to the moon it was actually right here this one sorry so that's what's happening right here for bitcoin on the weekly time frame even though we are bearish and you know there's a lot of bearish news with mount gox 200,000 bitcoin and whatnot um it's actually looking very 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 um you know bullish overall and it's very possible that the price is already in i mean it's it's very a lot of people are saying that the bitcoin it's priced in and the mount gox news is priced in so we're gonna have to see what happens um you know in the next couple of days and next couple of weeks but we could see right here on the daily time frame bitcoin is obviously sitting at a very important support region right here as you guys can see so we had a rejection right here one two three four 
five and then six. We got six rejections right here on Bitcoin on the daily time frame. A lot of people are calling for a long on BTC at 56,223. So obviously this would be a new support region. So if we do slip off right here, it's very possible that we're going to get rejected very, very fast with leverage longs or leverage traders. So we're going to have to see what happens here. Like I said, guys, in the next couple of hours, and if Bitcoin does manage to essentially close below the support, because if we do end up closing below the support, that could be bad news bears for, uh, you know, for the bulls essentially. So I wouldn't take any trade. I wouldn't advise to take any trade. I wouldn't long. I wouldn't short right now. I would just wait sit on the sideline i know a lot of people want to you know go 50x 100x don't do that if you did that and you did make money i would highly suggest you take profit but that is what's happening right now on bitcoin four hour time frame is looking okay i mean uh we were overbought right here on uh on the rsi and guess what happens when we were overbought guys we had a nice little uh pullback now of course this was just a dead cat bounce because we were hella oversold right here and we needed a you know we needed some relief we can't always go down you know for 50 candles in a row and we won't go up for 50 candles in a row as well so that is my video guys on bitcoin some bitcoin news on mount gox and the 200,000 bitcoins if you guys do like this video of course don't forget to smash the subscribe button leave a like and i will see you guys in my next video tomorrow